like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. How about that? All right, so we're going to pull from the Untold Troops of the Heart. Sorry, I'm adjusting my camera. Uh, I mean, my not my camera, my microphone. We're going to pull from the Untold Troops of the Heart and also the uh, Secret Lover's Journey Oracle to see where your energy is. <sighs> Codependent patterns, please do me a favor. Again, I can't stress enough. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts you rock with me, got my six, me to have my back, because I have yours. Yes, I know I repeated that, but anyway, we have the codependent patterns, we have masculine energy, we have beginnings, new directions, fresh starts, and unveiling the layers, but we also have all about the material. It says hyper-focused on finances, status, and fame-driven, that is this energy, and I can believe and this might not be true, but we'll we'll figure it out down the line when we dive deep into this. Uh, this person, place, thing, or situation, um, that was what was all about to them. And that is the codependent energy was you trying to prove to them. It says desperate and controlling tendencies, unstable relationship. Um, I'm not going to say you tried to prove to them in a disrespectful manner. What I'm going to say is that you don't look at money the way they do right and so since you don't look at money the way they do you turn around and you kind of say I got it and I'll do it just because it's in your heart you're the queen of pentacles the mother of the zodiac and basically whether male or females yeah you reached the breaking point and you had to realize that you had to set boundaries because life isn't about to you about the finances you it comes and it goes and yeah your death depth <laughs> is basically how how you um how you get along in life is because you're able to value the things and the manifestations that you do and you're aware of that type of energy and so therefore when it comes to dealing with the masculine energy or somebody with heavy masculine energy in their chart you feel abandoned because again they look at things in a different light they don't see it the way you see it you give because you can receive it back tenfold and they take 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 so as long as you're dealing with the taker yeah you'll feel some type of way you know you feel like your your mind is negative you know you're always doubting yourself and doubting your abilities and there's no foundation there so you have to establish that foundation on your own that's where the new direction comes in at that's where the fresh start comes in when you learn what the real codependent patterns are in this situation um yeah so that's kind of how I see this. I left this out. Uh, I didn't see it over here when I picked my cards up over here. So um, spying is here. So maybe that is something that information and ways. Um, so maybe that's something that means something to you. So I'll put it over there. I'll just leave it there and we will clarify these cards. So we're using the Intuit Tarot deck to see what comes out. But the codependent patterns, let's look and see. Codependent patterns come with the Ace of Pentacles energy. Excuse me. Ace of Pentacles, it might be coming out. Ace of Cups energy, which it says overflowing love. You know, the codependent patterns beca comes because you love it. You love this person. You want more with this person, and you'll be willing to do anything for this person, including giving your time, energy, and also being able to manifest a lot when it comes to this situation or this relationship. Hold on. I'm trying to pull my cord. I keep saying I'm going to go and do a wireless um cord for uh, my microphone but i haven't done it yet anyway so the ace of cups yeah you're uh, you're head over heels with this person but being head over heels in love with a person place thing or situation you're like that with everyone and when it comes to this masculine energy you have the five of wands there's yeah so with the five of wands it just lets you know that there's a lot of conflict in this situation and it says here i can't read the gold writing um because it's a, a glare Oh, harmony restored okay so the divine masculine it says situations resolved finding common ground cooperation solutions and harmony so you had to come with to peace with this masculine energy because you realize that 
you're going to overgive to the situation and this person is the way that they are when it's all about the money because of some type of foundation that they, a lack of find, foundation that they did not have, whether male or female. So the established family and security, you, they never had that. And so once you realize that it's nothing that you're going to be able to do, you're not going to be able to please this person. You have to look at things in a new beginning or a new light and go from there, which is understanding, yeah, the star energy being in the reverse, the lack of faith that you have in regards to kind of dealing with this person and building a foundation with this person. But the layers are unveiled when it comes to you having some type of heartbreak and misunderstanding, meaning that you have to set a foundation and set boundaries when it comes to having and dealing with this person and feeling abound abandoned. And, you know, again, having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing sadness and that there's the answer has to be no moving forward. And you have to draw the line because enough is enough. And that's what this breaking point is. You reach your you reach your your breaking point. You reach, you know, uh, a, a, a plateau in life for cups type energy where you have to nine of um, excuse me, nine of swords. Sorry, nine of um, what is it? Nine of wands energy. You have to set boundaries because, again, you have went already far. You dive deep when it comes to like hermit energy awareness importance and value you realize your value when it comes to this person but unveiling the layer says slowly unfolding love um it says getting to know the soul and so you had to get to know yourself and go from there yep and walk away seven of pinnacles seven years it took for you to realize it, as many missed opportunities as you have and this says seven of pinnacles good things take time so unveiling the layers, it took time, seven years for you to be able to get to this point of just kind of realizing, knowing but realizing that you missed so many opportunities. You have been, you know, this person has been bullying you out of control, very sarcastic and hurtful and insincere uh, when it comes and rude when it comes to um, it says out of your depth. So this person has to realize that your codependency is because you see what they lack and also you overlove every situation and it's not just with them. Now you give them a different type of love, but you're like that. If you have kids, family members, parents, no matter uh, family members, parents, yeah, no matter how difficult they may be or how they treat you at some point you reach a breaking point and then you start to put your energy into everyone else and everything else. It says uh, better times are ahead. So you had to walk away six uh, swords energy. Um, and yeah, we have six of swords, three of swords, Knight of Swords, Five of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Star Energy, more air energy. So, yeah, seven years it took for you to get to this point to where you had to learn to set boundaries because you reached a breaking point and, you you know, you had to learn to value yourself because this person always abandoned, abandoned you. And so you had and left out, it says left out, walk, walk away in cold. They've been very cold and you felt like this is not a curse, I'm going to say, the negativity from this energy made you feel some type of way. Let me cut this light down. It made you feel some type of way. So therefore, the only thing that you could do is just kind of walk away from it. And it says tranquility, overcoming hardship, conflicts, uh, resolved. It says becoming stable, restoration, and peace. And that's you unveiling the layers. That is nothing that you can do for this person. And you can't build a foundation, wait for this person to build a foundation with you. You have to build it for yourself. And then if it's meant, then it'll come back around. But right now you have to establish a foundation and get out of this codependent energy. And that's where the Ace of Cups energy is. You have to realize the way that you love is nothing wrong with that. But the conflicts come with the heartbreak and you being optimistic in regards to how these people feel or this person feels and is treated as, you know, uh, with childhood wounds, if that makes sense. And so bottom of the deck is the hangman. Yeah, you've been in limbo. All they care about is material. It says uh, hyper-focused on finances, status, and fame-driven. So, again, you have to do something a different way when it comes to this. So now you reach a breaking point. I'm going to pull from the Mermaid Tarot to see exactly uh, what this person is feeling once you reach this breaking point. So the boundaries energy, you drew the line when it came to how this person feels. And the reason why I like the Mermaid Tarot, because it gives a type of emotion. It's like a story. Yeah, the Page of Cups in the reverse. The um, Mermaid Tarot is like a story that uh, is it's the actual story of the Little Mermaid without 
Ariel being here, but it's the story of, of that. But this is, uh, when it comes to the Page of Cups energy, sorry, being in the reverse, excuse me, it's relationship in issues and misunderstanding. So therefore, you have to set boundaries because of that. Let's clarify the Page of Cups in the reverse. The Page of Cups in the reverse comes with the Seven of Swords energy. Yeah, see, this is like not being able to trust people, but at the same time, this is you looking at things and, you know, here, the seven, okay, so what the seven of swords is, let me just talk about that. This could be insecurities. This could be when it comes to gossip and things like that, but it also could be betrayal or some type of, um, um, what am I going to say? Like uh, deception um, that's happening or whatever. And so you, you feel like, okay, like this here is uh, the ship being, um, what is it called? Being shipwrecked. And so the, the merman, those are men or women, they come and they see um, the swords out here and they look at it like, oh, it's a shiny object, right? But with the shiny object, they're like, I can get away with it if I take it. They won't know it's missing because they lost it. But that's some type of betrayal, right? So you have to set boundaries when it comes to what somebody can get away with, if that makes sense. So the breaking point comes and how they feel. So this person felt like they could get away with, you know, being the person that they are with you and therefore... The death energy, the breaking point is like uh, being unsure if you should stay or go, right? And so this person is looking, you know, they have the mermaids here. Hold on, because I can't see. Um, let me look and see what it is. Okay, that's supposed to be flounder. And uh, this is, hold on, I cannot see. I'm sorry. Let me change the color of this light because it's, okay maybe a little bit that's kind of bright but anyway uh when it comes to yeah these people are being hurt and so he's saving them and they're looking at it like you see he's saving the bird because it's oil there but they're looking at it like oh gosh and they're protecting them but this is like m wondering if you should end it and wondering if they end if you ended it with them so that because you reached this breaking point i'm going to clarify that card that comes with the uh, Six of Cups energy. Yeah. So with the Six of Cups energy, this is nostalgia. This is, you know, uh, going after the, you know, and seeing what it was and why you fell in love and all the things. And this is like kind of discussing the things that have happened. And actually here on the Six of Cups is just kind of letting you see that basically, you know, the childhood innocence, the memories and things like that of what you, what you believe can be an item or what you can see as a child in memories. Does that make sense? I'm kind of saying it's kind of weird, but, you, you know, they're like, oh, no, they're not going to, you know, cancer's not going to do this to me because they know, you know, how I feel as a child. I lack this type of uh, energy when it came to the child, and I know that they're not going to leave me because they remember how I felt in the lack of childhood that I had or the lack of uh, people and family that I had to support me as a child. But you know, you already valued them as a certain person and seeing their importance or seeing what they could bring to you. And you were aware of the childhood trauma that they went through. So again, we're going to clarify that. So that's the reason why they felt like they couldn't, that, that you would never leave them. But high priestess energy, you had to trust in your intuition. You had to really say to yourself, listen, if I stay, I already know what this person has been through. But I have to walk away, you know, abandon is what we're clarifying. I have to walk away and yeah, queen of cups, you know, and still have empathy about it, but not be negative in regards to why I feel this way. The curse energy is here when it comes to two of cups energy. Yeah. It's not saying that you don't love them or that you don't remember the times that you have, but what it's saying is that you have to do stuff what's best for you because hangman energy two of wands, you had to make a decision. And so do they, they have to make a decision uh, in regards to why they kept you in limbo. So they have to see it with a new perspective, which is the hangman uh, energy. And also really think about, is it all about the material? Because remember, as a child, they didn't have something. They didn't know what it was like. And that's kind of like what I'm trying to explain here because they felt like everything else was like glitter and gold. Does that make sense? And that's what I'm trying to say, like the things that they lacked when they didn't see, they never saw and were brought up with seeing cups, thinking that they can hear out of the cups. Like we see seashells, they see that there was a shipwreck and that, oh, these are shiny gold objects, you know. Look at this stuff. Isn't this neat? 
wouldn't this make my collection complete? Like Ariel, y'all know I can't sing, but again, they look at it in a certain way, like what they lacked as a child or what they lacked as growing uh, growing up. And so they have to be able to make the decision to a wants energy, like, is this something that I want to do? And so they're spying on you, you know, and therefore, because the masculine energy came up, I was going to pull from the situation deck, but I'll pull from uh, your inner chakras uh, karmic male deck, but they felt like, you know, you would never leave them, you know, like uh, Donnell Jones uh, song, you know, uh, hold on. Yeah, like Donnell Jones, yeah, the other woman, they felt like you would always be there even when there was a other woman. And now, you know, they tried to block you and act like they, ooh, they got a short man complex. Whether male or female, they try to block you and get mad at you based upon your decisions and tell you that they're married, but more than one woman, they had more than one woman and they had to understand that that's not what you were going to deal with. Even if it was something that you had to, I mean, that you did in the beginning, you're not doing with that, dealing with that anymore. And so... You have an overflow of love when it comes to this person. But again, you feel like the negative energy when it comes to this. Again, the high priestess energy, the queen of uh, cups energy, the empathy that you have based upon childhood issues. They would still rather take from you without you knowing or have other people. Again, more than one woman, the other woman. And now they're spying on you because you really, you know, don't don't care. You had to trust your intuition. You had to use your empathetic energy to send strength and healing to this person, you know, and, and here, this kind of reminds me of, um, when on, uh, beauty and the beast, when she says, shows me, show me the beast, you know, she's looking and trusting in her intuition, both things like you are very intuitive and you send strength and healing to this person. But again, them being married, they did stuff to be, to be spiteful, so they blocked you and they went and got married, but they're not happy. Does that make sense? And so, therefore, when it comes to how they feel about you, they're still thinking about you. Let me pull from, I think this is, oh, I can't think of the name of this deck, but it's by uh, All Things Intuitive. Um, the card that comes, I want to feel that way again. So, again, they are missing you and finding out the truth crushed me. I'm so attracted to you. Um, so, you probably, I don't know. Maybe you blocked them and got married, or maybe they blocked you and got married or moved on with the other women thinking that, you know, it was the end all be all or that they could live without you. And that's not the case. I love you unconditionally. Yeah, because there you can't they can't find a you and anybody else. And so whether there's 30 women, men or whatever you want to call it, they're not going to be able to find you and anybody else. And so they will realize the attraction that and the love that you gave them and the unconditional love that you gave them and they're not going to be able to duplicate duplicate that with anyone so therefore you have to be able to you know trust in the universe know that your empathy is there and that send and strength and healing to this person and be able to move forward so i forget the name of this deck but let me see if i can find no i put it up but uh the box to this but um yeah you have to be able to make a decision based upon how you feel and the lack thereof hold on one second I hope you guys didn't see my hair. I got it in three plaits. But anyway, um, it says, your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust trust in the process. So you're not really, I don't, um, this came out upright, but I put it up here in reverse. So maybe you got to take it as you're not prepared for it and rejoice. Embrace your loving connection and rejoice. So maybe down the line, when you all grow up or when they grow up, then they'll be able to come back around. But as of right now, it's been a while that you've been dealing with this situation. I think the Seven of Pentacles that came out. Uh, and so take time out to explore deep emotions you are experiencing. And that's the thing. They have to explore it. You have to explore it. And they got to make sure that you, they got to make sure it's something that they want. But you got to make sure it's something that you want. And understand that everything is in, that glitters is in gold. And that's what their lesson is. Does that make sense? And so, therefore, you know. It's either going to be a fresh start or it's not. I'm going to pull from the untold, excuse me, the honest tarot, honest love tarot to see what comes out. Um, but, yeah, I just believe that when it came to this situation, they have unconditional love for you, but they play games. Yeah, so many choices, so little time. So now they're going to try to rush into you because, again, they believe that you guys have the same energy, same, same Z's. They believe that you guys have the same energies or 
that you belong together and very soon they're going to come around. But there was some type of struggle that, you know, when it came to finances that they didn't believe in you. And so Ace of Cups chakras and also they're sorry. They apologize. Um, sexuality, creativity and self-expression. They have to say it. And the Ace of Cups comes out twice. And so overflowing in love, they realize that they love you a little bit more than you love them as above. So below. So, again, you have to understand that they need to treat you like they do in in private respectfully they have to treat you like they do in private um publicly but not only that you, you know seeing your growth and not not under, wait how am i going to say this not understanding what you were doing behind closed doors is why they treated you a certain way because again it's all about the finances if that makes sense so as above so, so below these people here could have been you know flaunting as if they had something and they really didn't you know what i mean and so therefore you were working on things seven of pentacles energy you were working on things and i keep saying the seven of pentacles is here but you were here yeah here it is you were working on things coming to fruition harvest ripen and this is a person with a baby you were working on things and again it goes to as above so below you were working on creating a life and a foundation and all they saw is that you had a lack of whatever it is because you were very frugal with your your in your t not your time not your energy but your finances so you didn't walk around look like you were flossing and things like that you basically were just like um not unveiling the layers and that makes sense now because unveiling the layers uh knight of swords taking action going after the things you want and also seven of swords planting the seed um respectfully it could be an actual baby but not in my life but i'm saying better times are ahead walking away for things that will grow down the line so they're spying on you because you set these boundaries in regards to sacral chakra working on yourself right working on yourself expressing yourself being create creative you know planting the seeds to do things that you want to do and all they cared about is the things that they didn't have as a child, if that makes sense, you know. So you did that, and now they want to apologize to you. They're spying on you in order to apologize to you. But, you know, again, it was so much negativity. Their feelings are there, and they're, uh, they love you unconditionally. But it was so much negativity in this situation, in this love situation, friendship, whatever you want to call it, that it wasn't worth it to you anymore. So you had to kind of set yourself free and move forward if that makes sense. So I think that's all we're going to do with this reading. Um, let me see. I will pull, I think I forget what this is called. I think it's like an ax yourself deck and then um, the ax, the angels deck or something like that. But uh, yeah, I just believe that, you know, they, they didn't, you were planting seeds and building foundations and they only cared about the money. If it ain't about the money, don't be you know what i'm saying that song if you believe so you believe and maybe in the near future maybe in the near future you'll be willing to discuss or talk to them or something like that but right now you're working on yourself so i'm going to go ahead and pull from the four agreements and then the crystal deck and then we're going to let this energy go yeah i just believe that okay two cards came out if you want to know about the crystal deck and the four agreements click the link above um i put my perspective of it the um be impeccable with your words and don't take anything personal. The way this person is feeling or treated you is because they lacked stuff as a child and they didn't have the things. And so they thought money was everything. Now they're recognizing their feelings, right? Oh, it's three cards. Now they're recognizing their feelings. So don't make assumptions that they don't love you and they don't care about you based upon how they treated you. But you have to understand, you have to say what you want, mean what you say. That's a part of being impeccable with your words. And um, not making assumptions, not looking at the potential in a person, moving forward in the present moment, and not taking anything personal. So it says replace fear with love. So again, when I say sin, strength, and healing, replace fear with love. It says the human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continuously being planted. It says when you are impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. So be impeccable with your words. Say what you want. 
mean what you say, send strength and healing, period, and go from there. The next one is don't take anything personal. Embrace your, embrace your freedom. And it says you gain a huge amount of freedom when you take nothing personally. No spell can affect you regardless of how strong it may be. And if you live without fear, if you love, you will be happy with your life. And so that's the thing. If this is something that you're willing to move forward or move backwards to or live in the present moment with, you got to let go of the past, which causes fear and ang- which causes fear. And it causes hesitation and stagnation, which was out here with the hangman right here, you know. And so, again, don't make assumptions, you know, and don't look into p- potential, all of these things. And so ask for what you want. Say what you want, mean what you say, right? Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask likewise. Everybody has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. And so say what you want, mean what you say, and if you believe, you can have it, whether it be relationship, situationship. But you got to send strength and healing and say, bless this person wherever they are. And none of the things, none of the things move me, meaning that you're not going to take anything personal about, about based upon what somebody else or how somebody else feels. They're like assholes. Everybody have them, you know. So, again, don't take it personally. So I'm going to pull from the crystal deck, and then we're going to let this energy go. Yeah, I just... You know, it's a lot that we have to learn when it comes to people growing up and in lack and not having things. And, you know, you might have grown up different. Okay, it was a card here, so I'm trying to find it. That turned over. And the reason why I know it turned over is because I fixed these before. There it is. The white jade. I fixed these before I started uh, um, this reading. But the white jade, I've never gotten that card before. And then the tangerine quartz. The tangerine quartz is the root, sacral, and solar plex chakra, understanding, acceptance, and growth. That's what you're learning, right? And it says, I release all judgment so that I may grow spiritually. I release all judgment so that I may grow spiritually. And that's you not making assumptions, being impeccable with your words, and not taking anything personal, right? And so, again, basically what I was just saying, and I went across, I mean, I forgot. But uh, what I was saying is that, yeah. Oh, based upon somebody's uh, upbringing and what you know they're lacking, you cannot fix that, right? You can't fix that. They have to be able to fix that. They have to understand what their feelings are, understand that how they feel about you, and then it's up to you guys to decide whether or you to decide if you want this back. And so if you believe it, you can have it, but you have to let this person heal. The white jade, heart and crown chakra, decisiveness, peace, and focus decisiveness peace and focus i enjoy peace and harmony in all areas of my life i enjoy peace and harmony in all areas of my life and that is what you did not have when you were coming to the codependent energy because it was an unstable relationship and desperate and controlling tendencies and that's dealing with the person who you know um has lack or um is doesn't know how to love you know and you know, always wants to make it look like it's something that it's not. So anyway, let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. Okay, love you guys.